Hi, it's Dr. George, and thanks for coming through to the second video. As mentioned in the first video, a lot of people have asked, well, you know, I've got high sugar, what's the big deal? You know, why is it that we want to actively treat it so hard? Apart from the fact that we want to get the sugar from the blood vessels into the muscles in the brain where it can be used, there is another reason that high sugar is such a dangerous thing. You see, it's actually quite a toxic substance and very, very irritating to the blood vessels, but also to the nerves of the body. The thing about diabetes is that having high blood sugar in itself probably isn't going to harm you, um, but it's the side effects of having that high blood sugar. That's what's going to cause all of the problem. And if it's left untreated, it can cause a number of issues. And let's have a look at them now. Heart disease is probably one of the biggest issues facing people with diabetes. Unfortunately, being diabetic means that you're at a high risk of having a heart attack and also a high risk of having a stroke. Now, we're able to minimize those risks by doing a number of things. The first one is to help people not smoke. Smoking causes a huge amount of damage to the blood vessels in the body. Adding on top of that sugar is a very dangerous combination. So we'll do anything we can to help people to quit smoking. Other things is keeping the blood pressure in a nice safe range and also working on checking your cholesterol levels. As part of the diabetic check, we're regularly going to be checking the cholesterol and also we're going to check your blood pressure on a regular basis as well. We want to avoid strokes like there is no tomorrow. This is a horrible, horrible thing to have to um, and have to go through. Um, unfortunately, the high sugar irritates the blood vessels and in the brain, and it can lead to a stroke, and that's catastrophic for so many people. And again, the big things we want to do is keep the blood sugar low, keep the blood pressure low, and keep the cholesterol low. If there is a chance or an increased risk of stroke, your doctor will talk about that and ways that we can go about making sure it doesn't happen to you or one of your family members. As I've mentioned previously, the high blood sugar causes all sorts of havoc with very small blood vessels. In the back of your eye, behind the retina is a very fine network of very, very small blood vessels. If the sugar in your blood is high, it can damage those blood vessels and can actually lead to blindness. High levels of sugar can also affect the natural lens in your eye and that can lead to cataracts. Unfortunately, again, it's those small blood vessels that the irritating effects of the sugar can damage the kidney. Um, there are some people with diabetes who've actually needed to go on to dialysis Again, this is all preventable. There are many things that we can do to help with this. And it's so important that you have an early and often dialogue with your doctor to help prevent these risks. Again, with your feet. Um, it's about the small blood vessels in your feet. As they get damaged, the amount of blood that can flow to your feet decreases. Your ability to heal wounds is also impaired and it can take a long time for ulcers to heal. Um, it's really, really important that as part of your regular daily health check is that you're checking your feet as well for ulcers, um, but also other changes as well. And we'll be discussing with that in its own video inside the site. F guys, if there is one reason to get on top of your diabetes, it's the fact that diabetes can lead to problems getting erections. Um, what we know is that the blood vessels in the penis are around about the same size as the blood vessel in the heart. So if you're already having problems getting erections, that's a very good indicator that there could be some problems with your heart as well. Again, it's very, very important that you speak to your doctor about these events. There is good news. I know I've just said a lot of really bad and stressful things, but the good thing is that with early intervention, a lot of this stuff can be prevented and minimized. Now, what I've actually put together is a special email training list. 
inside this list I'll be sending you regular updates on things that you can be done to help reduce all of these problems in diabetes. Just underneath this form is a special link. If you click on that you can sign up to the special area within this site and you will be able to receive regular email updates on not only the latest research that's happening in diabetes but also a variety of different ways that diabetes uh, complications can be prevented and also very simple things you can incorporate into your life if you are living with diabetes or you might be at risk with diabetes. So please click the link below, feel free to join the site and I'll be able to share more information with you in regards to diabetes, its treatment, its prevention and the latest updates on what's happening out there in the diabetic world. I'll see you inside. Have a great day. Bye.